Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette, and today we're going to be talking about my March, April weight loss recap. Dun dun dun! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> to kind of address the elephant in the room, yes, I did get braids. This is a recent occurrence for May, mid May. Um, it's currently May 24th that I'm filming this, so. Just doing great here, just doing great. And then also, the lighting is a little bit harsh, but you can see me, so I'm not too like, meh, about it. But yeah, just to kind of address that, so yeah. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button so you can catch up and stay up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. Let's get into it. So last night I ordered pad thai and um, dumplings. I also ordered some spring rolls. I had those last night, so I'm just finishing off the rest this morning for breakfast on Sunday. And I also had cookies, chocolate chip cookies, a lot of them last night because it's been, uh, it's been interesting um, emotional-wise, and I definitely like go to food. Um, for, to like process things <laughs> which is not good but you know pad thai I thought I crave it I'm not gonna deny myself I'm gonna enjoy this pad thai and these dumplings and the spring rolls that I had last night and the cookies while watching Bohemian Rhapsody which was honestly such an inspiring movie so beautiful so I just got back from the gym. Today is the first workout of the month. And I am, I mean, obviously, sweat stain right there. You can see like a little one on this side too. But um, today at the gym, I just did abs. And then I did 20 minutes on the stairs. And I haven't been on the stairs in such a long time because I had an injury last year. And I had always done the stairs, um, but because my knee had been in such pain, like I couldn't do the stairs, it was just painful. And today, like, I had a little bit of pain, like very, very minor towards the end, but I was fine. But um, yeah, last week was a week off, and then Monday I didn't work out. Um, today's Tuesday, I worked out. I'm not gonna work out tomorrow. I'm gonna work out on Thursday, and I'm gonna work out on Friday. So just easing my way back into it. Long time no talk. Um, haven't gone to the gym today. I honestly was intending to this morning and then I like snoozed my alarm and just fell back asleep and then woke up and I was like, I have to go to work so I can't go. I was gonna go this evening but I'm feeling a bit peckish so I'm just gonna go tomorrow um, after my car appointment or maybe before, I might go before but yeah, I definitely noticed that like that week of taking a break off when I was on my period and then this past week of trying to get back into it, I just need to go full force again because I just, I can kind of feel it like emotion wise, like working out does make you happy <laughs> and um, I definitely miss the feeling so I'm going to be better about it next week as well. And I'll also have a break from school, which is nice. Um, not starting next week, but the week after. Um, so that will be good. But yeah, that's my update. I will, however, show that this is kind of what I've been eating um, for like lunch and dinner. It's just like tilapia, or I'll switch it out for salmon. And then I have vegetables, lots and lots of vegetables. Um, and yeah, that's usually like my lunch and dinner. And then I just put hoisin sauce and sriracha. I should bring it for lunch, but I always forget. But yeah, this is what I've been eating and having, you know, a lot of green juices in the morning and my avocado on toast with egg and bacon and yada, yada, yada. Excuse my hair right now. But I just weighed myself. I weigh, drum roll please. Two seventeen point four. Guys, 
expecting to be 217.4. Um, obviously, I always add the point because, you know, whatever she can get. Um, and yes, my shirt says still fat. It's like a, <laughs> it's YouTuber merch from Joe Santagato. <laughs> and I just really loved it. Um, Long time no speak, everyone. Um, yesterday we had a bomb cyclone, I think that's what they're calling it, um, in Denver, so didn't go to the gym. Also didn't go to the gym on, well I typically don't really go to the gym on Wednesday mornings because I have school on Tuesday night, so I've only gone to the gym once this week. <laughs> um, didn't go to the gym this morning as well because... I went to bed around midnight because I've been focusing on homework and this project. And also last night I watched a movie, A Star is Born, which highly recommend. It is sad at the end, I will say. I cried. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Um, didn't go to the gym today. Only went to the gym on Tuesday in the morning because I didn't go to the gym on Monday, I think. I honestly can't really remember. I am going to try to go to the gym tomorrow <laughs> morning. Um, man, I realize like this week I feel like I'm in a good headspace, but the majority of February I wasn't because there was just a lot of stuff going on and I just felt so much anxiety um, and I felt even more anxiety in January and I feel like I just didn't catch a break. Um, yeah, it's just life has been very interesting. Last week I was 217.4, so I've gained about 2.4 pounds this week. Um, I definitely snacked, I had hot Cheetos, and I had candy. And like, I said that I would give up candy and hot Cheetos for Lent, but like, I legit would forget as soon as it was in my mouth, like, finished eating it, and then I'd be like, oh, I'm supposed to give this up. So I'm giving up something else um, that I think is a lot easier for me to give up that's not like food related because I'm like I should be able to enjoy food although the hot Cheetos that I've had recently have tasted just like regular Cheetos which is not good they're not spicy at all they just taste like regular Cheetos which is kind of destroying me right now um, and then the amount of candy like with the Sour Bright gummy worms um, as well just the very very kind is so good but I mean I just need to stop eating them good morning it is Monday I am feeling very rejuvenated and great about this week um, I worked out this morning I just got back I did some abs and then I did uh, 20 minutes of cardio so one minute running uh, or jogging in my case um, and then one minute walking at a three and a half incline the entire time for 20 minutes so that was good I feel really good about that and then tomorrow I'm gonna go back into like the hit cardio type of thing but I definitely feel more rejuvenated and God's willing I have made the vow to myself that um, with God's help <laughs> Because I need Jesus for this. I truly do. Um, that from now all the way till the last day of March, I'm going to eat clean. So no candy, no hot Cheetos, no um, wine, no um, desserts or anything like no sweet treats. Just eat clean. So you know how I said earlier today I wouldn't be having chocolate <laughs> today was stressful so finishing an entire bar of chocolate is you know it's not the end of the world it's kind of how I'm looking at it
second workout of the week is complete. Um, I feel really good after working out today. Um, I did a HIIT cardio, so I did the program with Massey IRS, um, which I talked about before, and it was really good to get back on that. And then I did 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes of cardio on the treadmill at like a three and a half incline with a speed of 3.5. Today's Friday. Just came back from the gym. Really good session. I just did hit, but it took me a little bit longer because I was still a little bit sore from uh, Wednesday when I, no, Tuesday, um, when I did my legs last. No, it was yesterday when I, Yesterday was upper body, Tuesday was lower body, and my legs were still a little sore, so I was moving a little bit slow, but I did all the workouts in proper form. I think that's something that's really improving is that like my form has been really good um, lately, so like I've been going all the way down in my lunges instead of going like halfway, and like not allowing my knee to go over my toes, um, but be in line with my ankle when doing lunges and stuff and same thing with squats I'm like engaging my butt and like squeezing when I get up and stuff like that so my form is definitely um, form and execution have been a lot better I've noticed the longer I've been doing this so I feel really good I'm really tired honestly like from the workout I'm exhausted I'm like awake right now so happy Friday we'll probably see you tomorrow for the weigh-in Officially 16.6 pounds lost. That probably looks really terrifying. And I'm sorry. Also, I look terrifying. So I'm sorry. Honestly speaking, I didn't want to go to the gym this morning. I was just like, man, I'm tired. Granted, I did get like seven hours of sleep, which is more than I got last week averaging about five hours of sleep a night but I was just tired and I was just like man I can't wait to one day not do this and it's mainly because of how early it is in the morning but then once I got to the gym and I was working out I felt better I was just like okay I'm glad that I'm here I'm feeling more awake I'm feeling more alive I'm not feeling dead tired about everything so like getting up and then like putting on the clothes and putting on the shoes and then walking outside and being like I don't want to do this I don't want to do this but I did it and that's what matters it's done and I feel really good and great about it now I just gotta take a shower well don't mind my appearance but today's Sunday and I've eaten healthy this weekend I have continued to persevere with no candy or hot Cheetos um, or sweets, like added sugars type of thing. I'm thinking maybe for April that I like, um, instead of doing no sugar in April, because that's half of March already that I've done, that I'm going to be doing this, um, and I've only done it for a week. Which is not bad. It's been pretty good, I would say. It hasn't been like that hard. Um, I've definitely been put in situations, but I've been very mindful and I've told people, I think that's something that's helped me, is telling people that like, I am not trying to eat sweets or candy or chocolate or cookies or anything like that. And telling them has been very helpful. Um, so that's, that's been good. I think that's like, when you're the most successful is like when you tell other people like this is what I'm doing because when you just keep it for yourself you're like well no one knows so I can cheat um <laughs> which is not which is not what I want to do so um yeah I'm not sure if I really want to do no added sugar April 
I'm thinking maybe like more like once a week, but one thing of it. So like once a week, I get a dessert and whatever that dessert is, that's that's all I do. Instead of doing like, oh, I'm gonna get ice cream and I'm gonna get cookies and I'm gonna get a candy and eat all of that in one night. It's like, you know, just one, one and done. I just, I don't know if that's what I should do. Cause I don't know. I don't know what to do. Those are my beautiful singing vocals. Hope you appreciated that. So yeah, I'm a little bit of a conundrum. I just got back from the gym um, and finished my workout. I will say I've noticed that like my workouts recently, I've gone all in and like had really good form and have finished the workouts properly. Whereas like, you know, in February was like when I wasn't doing so hot, like with my mental health and certain things that were going on in my life. And I had like so much anxiety every day um i like would work out but i was very apathetic about it and also like other areas of my life ended up being affected like i haven't cleaned my room in such a long time and i haven't vacuumed my room in such a long time and i like to vacuum my room at least once a week um and like the other day it was the first time i vacuumed my room has been clean like I cleaned my room and I like put away my laundry on time and I didn't just allow it to be like piled on my bed and sleeping with it on on like one side of my bed um, a pile of clean clothes and so it's just very interesting like now that I like feel in such a more positive place and I'm not struggling as much with my anxiety like I still get you know anxious every now and then but like it's not as crippling as it was back then a couple of weeks ago I feel like even my workouts are like so much better I'm able to finish them a lot stronger and I feel a lot better granted this morning I did not want to get up and go to the gym I was just like I want to stay in bed I'm tired I'm sleepy and I got enough hours of sleep I think I got seven and a half hours of sleep um so like that like I'm not tired I just I wanted to go back to bed but then like when I woke up and you know when I got out of bed actually and started moving a little bit and getting my gym kit on and all that other stuff and then when I went to the gym like I was awake I was fully in it I was fully engaged so yeah yeah I feel I feel a lot better um today's workout was great even though I didn't want to go to the gym and I mean you guys saw that I had a cookie uh, from Chick-fil-A and I think the next day I had like one piece of chocolate and it's because the, that night when I had a cookie I started my period and I was like you know I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna get a cookie and then I had that piece of chocolate but I'm like okay for the rest of um, March I'm, I'm not gonna have any sweets I don't think I want to do I don't think I want to say no sugar added sugar April I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of make sure that I'm maintaining balance because um, I know I can do it it's just it got out of control um, with like eating hot Cheetos and then those creepy crawler gummy worms um, every other day and like it really started to affect my body and so I know that my body just does so much better when I'm eating like wholesome ingredients and getting the nutri nutri nutrients that I need type of thing so yeah anyways I'm rambling I'll see you in the next one having my usual breakfast avocado on toast with egg uh, I usually do it over easy over medium but today I did it scrambled and then with some bacon and I currently weigh 216 pounds like even 
um which is exciting so yay that is my final update for the month i decided i am not gonna do the no added sugar month for april or excuse me even a couple weeks because honestly i shouldn't think of like food as good or bad food it's food and some food is definitely healthier and some food is definitely unhealthier but I've been consistently losing about three pounds a month, I'm trying to go for five. That's like the goal, max goal of just five a month. But yeah, I think that just three pounds has been good and I've treated myself along the way this entire year, <laughs> you know, three months, it's fine. I'm like 215 or whatever, uh, 216, 215. Yeah, I'm kind of just, I'm thinking like just balance, like, having healthy meals as much as I can throughout the week, which I definitely do, and limiting the amount of time that I eat out. But tonight I'm for sure going to High Point Creamery, God's willing, and getting myself some vegan non-dairy ice cream because hashtag treat yourself. Sorry about the dirty mirror. Um, I'm actually like, my legs are shaking. That's like how hard I went in the gym today and like I I sweat so much today um as you saw last night I went to I'm just tired I <laughs> we'll do it this way I went to High Point Creamery and I got a scoop of ice cream um I get vegan or dairy free because I'm lactose intolerant so anytime I go to an ice cream shop I have to get those options um, but it was coconut plum flavor. It was really good. And then I, then we went to Sprouts and I got crackers, like these little chips things, but they didn't have the ones that I wanted. So I got a different kind and I almost ate the whole box. Um, and then I also got like gummy worms cause I thought, why not? We're watching the season finale of season four finale of Game of Thrones which was so intense um yeah so I'm working that off <laughs> but I'm also like you know what my weight really fluctuates throughout the month like I will lose from like the starting weight to the end weight of the month three pounds but sometimes when I start at that starting weight of the month I'll gain a couple pounds more and then I'll lose even more so it's like I it's like I didn't really lose three pounds it's like I lost five but really like you know when you have like the cheap meals um, or just like the funner foods um, whatever you want to call them like I gain weight from them uh, so but I also end up losing it because it's just like a one-time thing and it's like within a day and then like several days later at the end of the week I've lost that weight so it's not, it's not too bad it's not too bad at all but anyways first workout of the month smashed it my legs feel shaky and I sweat so much um, but I'm gonna get ready now for work Tuesday. So today is Saturday. What's today's date? April six, and I weigh. 214 pounds point six so this is really exciting um i would say in high school i weighed about 213 um was like my heaviest and then getting down to like 170 but i pretty much stayed around like the 206 mark so i'm excited to like lose these last 14 pounds and then hopefully I mean, obviously get out of the 200 range because then it'll be like the lightest that I've been since high school 
So, just finished eating a slice of lemon pie from Whole Foods. And also I had this double espresso cold brew with almond milk. Um, so yeah, that was uh, another cheat meal. And then also I had uh, sushi last night, a sushi rama. It's where it comes on a conveyor belt. Highly recommend. It's in Rhino in Denver. I think my eyes just went cross eyed. <laughs> um, and then what else? Had ice cream at Little Man's. It had like all the vegan options and some sorbet in a kitty cup. So I'm living my best life. Enjoying the food. But this morning I had like avocado on toast with egg, bacon, and then my green juice. I also ended up buying this Let's see. Zuja Uber Greens. Uber. Are you gonna focus? Uber Greens. Um, it has all these things because I'm kind of tired of juicing. Not gonna lie, today was kind of a write off. I got overheated quite a bit. So I like, yeah, I couldn't really finish my HIIT workout, so I ended up just doing some cardio. And I was like, ugh, I was just so overheated and so tired. Yeah, so today it didn't go that great of a job, but at least it worked out. It's been a while since we spoke. Um, today's Wednesday. I decided that this week I'm going to try to work out three times. I was going to wake up on Monday and Tuesday and work out, but I just overslept. Um, but this morning I worked out. I ran, um, not ran, but like jogged. Um, running for me for like 35 minutes. Like I walked maybe like a minute, ran two, and kind of did that. Um, I was 214.6 last week, and then I had a lot of snacks, well I mean at the beginning of last week, and then I had a lot of snacks throughout the week, I would eat like a whole box of crackers, and then over the weekend we had the bachelorette party, and I just, I ate a lot. <laughs> For sure gained weight kind of went back which is I'm not really frustrated because I'm like I have my whole life to lose weight and get where I want to be and so this is not like a bad thing it's just I ate and yeah I ate food that was probably not that great for me but I ate Today is Saturday, and I'm just eating breakfast here in my living room. Well, not my living room, dining room, teaching area. And I currently weigh 216 pounds. So I'm two pounds away from being 214 again. <laughs> but I'll get there. I will get there. But I'm eating my normal breakfast avocado on toast with eggs and applewood bacon. Yay! Just eating dinner, but I ended the month at 217 pounds, which I think is good, considering I went up to 220 <laughs> mid-April, and now I got down to 217, so yeah, that's my final update. <laughs> So as you can see, um, in March I did pretty good and then April definitely slacked off, but ended with 216. So that's pretty good. It was definitely just like an up and down month, but um, for, well, I mean, it was just polar opposites from March to April um, of like losing the weight and then gaining it all back and then some, which was frustrating, but 
that's just part of the journey. That's just like the real life journey of like what I've gone, what I'm going through currently um, and trying to find like a balance. It's hard, it's, it's not easy. So yeah, it's been very, very interesting. But I keep telling myself when I do like gain weight, just being like, you will be able to lose it because I've done so in the past when I was stuck in the 220s and now I feel like I'm stuck in the 215, 216 type of thing and I'm just trying to wiggle my way out. And it's not that I'm at a plateau, it's just like snacking. Honestly, snacking was like what caused my failure in um, April. I just snacked too much. And although they were healthy snacks, it was just in excess and I just can't do that. So this month in May, I've been a lot better, but we'll talk about that in the next video for sure. Um, but yeah, whereas in March, I was really good about not snacking, you know, eating really healthy, um, not having sweets and stuff like that. And then April, I was just like, yeah, I dropped the ball. <laughs> And I had maintained for a little bit and then gained more and then lost it back, but I still wasn't at like the 214.6 that I had gotten down to. So um, yeah, just desperately trying to get back down there, but it's a journey, guys. It's a tough, long, difficult journey, but it's a good one. And so I'm glad that I'm on it. I'm making changes and I'm not beating myself up when I do gain the weight because I know that I can lose it. Um, and yeah, so that is that is what I have to say. Um, hopefully you enjoyed, you know, this March, April recap. Also, I did something different with like the editing style um, of the video. So if you like it, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know um, if you like this format, if you have any suggestions of how you would you know, recommend that I would change it. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll de definitely take that into account for the next month's video. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye.